I think if you look at any major service provider globally, everybody's thinking about building cloud infrastructure and offer new cloud services and offerings. Um, the question is, once you have this cloud infrastructure, how can you leverage that and how can you monetize that? SDN and NFB in particular will allow you to manage the traffic more optimally and to manage your IT infrastructure more cost effectively so that you can run applications more intelligently, so you can uh, reuse your network resources more optimally, and you can monetize this at fine-grained granularity and offer the services that customers want. We've seen with the service providers, they are interested in uh, more quick delivering services and finer-grained control of how the services get delivered. Uh, by applying SDN approaches, they no longer have a best efforts network, but they have fine-grained control over the services they provide. This allows them to do things like cloud bursting uh, and traffic steering uh, to new applications, be able to deliver services that today require manual intervention. So getting that human element out allows them uh, to more quickly deliver services and uh, to do the more economically and with higher resiliency. This will translate into faster and better uptime for uh, the end customer. I think of the cloud as a way to offer services. So instead of buying the whole service, you buy it when you need it on a subscription basis. The way to offer that very easily and very uh, cost effectively is through a, a function like SDN. And that's one of the things we see the operators very interested in is how do I change my services quickly in order to accommodate the things that happen in the cloud? How do I move it around in the network to accommodate the fact that the cloud is everywhere, it's global? And if they're doing these things, they're going to be able to bring the new services I, I set. So kind of a what and a how are how I think about it. You know, I really see the cloud and the network as, for, from a service provider perspective, as one and the same. You know, because to a service provider, the network is the cloud. You know, the, the entire network operation, the data center, the, the physical network from the core to the edge to the, to the cell site, all of that is, is their infrastructure to deliver services to their end customer. Um, and so they've got to think about it holistically in that way. And so that's why our SDN strategy both links together the data center and the rest of the network infrastructure but it also takes advantage of what we've learned from the cloud over the past, you know, many years. We've really, it's funny to say this, but the cloud has kind of become mature. We've learned a lot from it. Uh, and so being able to take those lessons and, and how we virtualize the infrastructure and used it to deploy uh, applications more quickly, if we, can, if we can take that and apply that to the network. I think that's, that's the ultimate end game. They're going to want to embrace customers enterprise customers as well as end-user customers um, or consumer-based customers with their cloud services. And in order to have the ability to provide multi-tenancy on their network, have a lot of different users utilize that same resource pool, they're going to have to have an SDN-based environment. And then re remaining a lower-cost uh, environment for their services, that will require NFV. Right? So that will help them lower their operating costs, and it will allow them to change the network as they need to uh, in a very, very automated way. And then finally, of course, it will allow them to have multi-tenancy for the customers they're going to have as a result of the cloud and big data. SDNs offer a big new opportunity for service providers for cloud services, number one. Uh, and in a way, they're going to be able to, with SDNs, connect their WAN with their data center so that it all becomes one. That makes a lot of things a lot easier. Operators are looking at the opportunity then of also having distributed many data centers in cities. And so they'll be able to offer services locally that they can compete with over-the-top services and actually be in the driver's seat so that 
over-the-top services might have to buy the operator services. So when you look at SDN, we actually see a number of use cases. Some are traffic management and the ability to steer the traffic. Others are provisioning of new applications like a security application. Some are expanding bad bandwidth like on, on, on cloud bursting. So we see big data. We see cloud. We see SDN as all uh, opportunities to get better information and more efficient utilization of the assets within the operator community.